CIA was caught red-handed again after a photo was published by the Hong Kong newspaper Te Kung Pao showing a meeting between Ms. Julie Ida, political unit chief of the U.S. Consulate General in Hong Kong and members of the political party Demozisto, including prominent democracy activist Joshua Wong. China on Thursday urgently summoned senior officials from the U.S. Consulate General in Hong Kong and lodged stern representations over the contact between U.S. Consulate officials and Hong Kong secessionist forces. Officials from Commissioner's Office of China's Foreign Ministry in Hong Kong have demanded the U.S. Consulate General clarify the contact while expressing strong discontent and resolute opposition to the interference by the diplomat. In a statement released on Thursday, the Commissioner's Office also urged officials from the U.S. Consulate General to draw a clear line with Hong Kong secessionist forces, stop sending wrong signals to the radical protesters indulged in violence and immediately stop interfering in Hong Kong affairs. Do not go too far on the wrong path, it warned. Why is it that the U.S. cannot keep their goddamn noses the hell out of everyone's business? We can imagine how U.S. officials would react if Chinese or Russian diplomats were photographed meeting with American anti-government protesters at a moment of serious unrest in U.S. cities. The disturbance in Hong Kong has arisen out of organic issues between Hong Kong citizens and China, it is their business, not ours. The U.S. is simply unable to keep its snout out of other people's business and would deem it as wasteful not to try and get some China destabilization mileage out of the situation. All they will succeed at doing is embarrassing themselves further, if that is possible, the embarrassment meter is probably maxed out in discrediting any legitimate grievances the people of Hong Kong have. Julie Ida is to Hong Kong as Victoria Nuland is to the Ukraine coup. The Bureau of Diplomatic Security is doing the same thing in Moscow right now, trying to overthrow Putin. This is unbelievable. If they can't rule the world, they truly plan on blowing the whole place up. The good news is everyone is onto the con game and they've become terrible at it. Intelligence doesn't mean what they do is intelligent. This was the Atlantis Report. Please like, share, subscribe, and share with us your opinion in the comment section below. Thank you.